Harry furiously prepares a new plan to regain royal position as Camilla gradually taking Duke place. The royal family usually has a busy calendar of engagements in the run-up to Remembrance Sunday every year. One engagement the royals never miss is the opening of the Field of Remembrance at Westminster Abbey, and this year Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall will represent the royal family at the event for the second year running. In previous years, the annual opening of the Field of Remembrance has been carried out by Prince Harry. Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, are no longer working members of the royal family and they now live in the US. But before the couple left their senior royal roles behind in March 2020, the pair completed several royal engagements on behalf of the Queen. Having served in Afghanistan for two tours with the army, Prince Harry held many royal military patronages while he was a senior royal. And every year from 2013 to 2019, Harry represented the royal family at the opening of the Field of Remembrance at Westminster Abbey. The 88th Field of Remembrance in 2016 would mark Harry's last visit to the event with his grandfather, Prince Philip, who himself was a military man having served in the Royal Navy. And following Philip's retirement from royal duties in 2017, the visit became Harry's solo duty for the next two years. Harry opened the respective 89th and 90th Field of Remembrance upon visits to the Abbey in 2017 and 2018. And in 2019, the Duchess of Sussex joined Harry to open the 91st Field of Remembrance. With Harry and Meghan no longer working royals, the duty fell to Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall for the 92nd Field of Remembrance opening in 2020. And now it appears the event will be one of Camilla's annual duties going forward, as she is also scheduled to attend in 2021. Prince Harry is expected to mark Remembrance Day in the US this year. Harry is scheduled to be the special guest at the Intrepid Museum's Salute to Freedom Gala on November 11. Harry will be handing out medals at the Intrepid Valor Awards to five service members, veterans and military families. Although Prince Harry was not in the UK for Remembrance Sunday last year, he and Meghan marked the event in California. The couple privately visited the Los Angeles National Cemetery, where they left flowers on the grave sites of two Commonwealth soldiers. The Sussexes also laid a wreath at the cemetery's memorial obelisk. The Festival of Remembrance will be going ahead on Saturday at the Royal Albert Hall. And despite being ordered to rest by doctors in recent weeks, Buckingham Palace has said it remains the Queen's firm intention to attend the Cenotaph service on Sunday. Every year, members of the royal family visit the Cenotaph to pay their respects to those who lost their lives in World War I and World War II. The Duchess of Cornwall's royal career has been far from smooth sailing. After joining the firm in 2005 when she married Prince Charles at Windsor, she was still often regarded as the third person in his marriage to Princess Diana, dealing with shocking abuse. Fast forward 15 years, and Camilla's profile is higher than ever after championing several important causes, including sexual violence against women, while also supporting her husband. At the weekend, a report suggested that Camilla could also be due to step up and receive a bigger royal role as Councillor of State. Under current rules, Princes Charles, Andrew, William and Harry are classed as Councillors of State requiring them to step in if the Queen is unable to perform her duties due to illness or absence abroad. By law, Councillors of State include the next four people in the line of succession who are over the age of 21 but due to recent shifts in the family, Camilla may have to step up.